What's up, my wonderful peeps? Sports of the Bone here again, man. Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers, and to all the followers. Big up on yourself. Alright, so once we hear the name Brian Charles Lara, the first thing that usually comes to mind is elegance, shot, and, and just total flamboyancy, right? Often touted as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, batsman to ever play the game. Lara is remembered for always taking the fight to the opponent, always on the front foot as regards to his shots. Having said all of that though, no matter how great you are, you will always come up against players that will most definitely challenge you. And the current test world record holder, Lara, has taken the time out to, to give a list of the five best bowlers and the five best batsmen that he has come up against. And the list is pretty interesting. A couple of persons that you probably would have think they are on the list. So we're just going to spend some time and go through the list right now. Alright, so let us kick off the list with the bowlers now. Um, coming in at number one that Lara listed was Shane Warren, the king leg spinner from out of Australia. And once you're a cricket fan, then more than likely you would have seen countless number of battles back and forth, back and forth between, between Lara and Shane Warren because they are two players that like to attack very aggressive. So we would have seen some good battles between these two. And the next bowler coming at number two that Lara actually named was another Australian. And we're talking about the fast bowler, Glenn McGrath. And for those who would have seen Glenn McGrath when he was at his peak, the man was very intimidating when he was running in because you would see this big frame just sprinting into you and you know he had very good line and length the ball was always angled in very good so you know according to Lara he was a very challenging bowler to go up against so Shane Warren and McGrath both from Australia there all right two more bowlers that Lara listed were um, was him Akram and Wakar Yunis from out of Pakistan and for those who follow cricket I don't even have to say you will know how dangerous Wasim Akram was with a cricket ball in his hand. That man could swing the ball all over the place, let the ball dance in and out. And he was doing it at a relatively good pace. So Wasim Akram, Wakar Yunis now, also bowled at good pace and was able to move the ball around. You know, so you can just imagine Wakar Yunis and Wasim Akram com combined. They would have um, given Lara some amount of problem. Now, the fifth bowler that Lara listed was um, somebody from out of Sri Lanka and we're talking about Merlitharan the man that probably could spin the ball and glass and a glass service how good the man was at spinning the ball so we would have also seen some very good battles when West Indies were actually going up against Sri Lanka you know you would have Merlitharan versus Brian Charles Lara so Lara would have listed Merlitharan as somebody that was you know very good alright so let us take a look at the five batsmen that Lara would have listed and all of these batsmen are legends in their own right so kicking off the list is the maestro from out of india we're talking about none other than sachin tenduka somebody that is and was always compared to brian charles lara in their playing days and up to now and this is a comparison that will forever go on as to which one is better than which one but lara listed tenduka as one of the best that he would have played against now the second person that lara listed was actually somebody from india um, just like Tenduka, we're talking about Royal Dravid, the former India captain and the man class speaks for himself. You know, one of the first memory I have of watching cricket live was when I was in high school and I went to Sabina Park and India was going up against West Indies. A man, the first, the first image I can remember in my mind as regards to watching cricket live was Royal Dravid playing a cover drive off Jerome Taylor, smashing cover drive to the boundary for four. So, the man class speaks for himself, so Royal Javid Tenduka kicking off the list. Alright, also named amongst the top five, Lara listed Ricky Ponting, the former Australian captain, and his record speaks for, for itself. You know, somebody that would have scored a, low, a lot of runs, somebody that would have always been on the front foot taking the fight to the opponent, so Ricky Ponting there on the list. And coming in at number four on Lara's list was actually Jack Callis, the man from out of South Africa. And in my personal opinion, Jack Callis is the best cricketer to ever play the game. We're talking about generally. I know that you, we would have had some great all-rounders like Sobers and all of them people. But personally, based on what I would have seen throughout my years of watching cricket, Jack Callis is the best cricketer to ever play the game. We're talking about somebody that was able to bat for a long period of time. You would have to dig him out. Somebody that would bowl. Somebody that would take loads of um, spectacular catches in the slip garden 
you know, Callis did it all. The man did it all. You understand? The man could make the, as, the South African team as a batsman and as a bowler. The man basically did it all. Alright, so rounding out Lara's list, we have somebody that I rate very highly from out of Sri Lanka. We're talking about Kumar Sangakara. The man record speaks for itself. You know, he would have achieved a whole lot in Test cricket, ODI cricket and also in T20 cricket. So Kumar Sangakara rounds out the list. Um, Lara also went on to give a list of his top five batsmen and top five bowlers of this current era. So we're just going to run through that list quickly. Starting off the list is somebody that is from out of New Zealand. He's currently ranked as number one where test cricket is concerned and batting. Talking about Kane Williamson. Coming in, we also had Steve Smith, Virat Kohli, A.B. De Villiers and also Joe Root. So these are the five batsmen that Lara would have listed as some of the top batsmen in the world where this era is concerned. As regards to the bowlers now, he would have listed um, Boomer from out of India. James Anderson, Jaffa Archer, Rabada and um, also Rashid Khan, the leg spinner there from out of Afghanistan. So what do you think about this list that was given by Brian Charles Lara? You think it is a good list? A couple of people on it that shouldn't be on it are you think there are persons out there that should have made the list? So let me know what you think about this list. You know, it's actually very good to get some insight from Brian Charles Lara, somebody that would have entertained us on so many different levels. You know, so very good to hear from him. Um, let me know what you think about the list in the comments. Feel free to express yourselves. Sports to the bone. Keep you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed. Remember to subscribe to the channel and share the thing, man, so the channel can grow. I'm out.